Let's take a look at Adobe Aero and see some of the cool things we can do in terms of behaviors. Now remember, Adobe Aero is used for augmented reality. So I, I've grabbed a character, I went to Directable Characters, and I, I went down here and I have Zahara. So here's Zahara, here's my character. And I can click on this little dot here and move her all around that I want to. If I just wanted to move on one um, axis, I can just go ahead and do this and the blue and I can even do green if I wanted to lift her up, but I don't want to. I want to put her down here. I don't want to put her below. I want to put her right on top. So we can go there and I can click here to make sure that she's right aligned. And now I want her, when I tap on her, to wave. So I'm going to go down to the little running icon and click on that. And here she is. And if I click on trigger, I'm going to uh, tap. So when I tap on her, it's going to wave. So I, I click on tap. And then I, I can click on what action I want to have happen. So I'm going to click on action. And I have all kinds of actions. I can play animations. I can do all kinds of things. I can aim. I can show. I'm going to actually play an animation. And when I click on play an animation, notice what happens is I have play animation here. I have my character. And you know uh, all I have is one character. And then I have a bunch of animation clips. So I'm going to click on wave. And so now she's going to wave. And I can have her wave several times. Maybe I'll have her wave three times. And if I click on preview, you can see that there's my character. She's standing idly. If I tap on her, she's going to wave one, two, and then three times. So that is how I can uh, very easily add a behavior to my character. I just have her action. And I can ever do other actions too. So I can play another animation if I'd like to. And after she waves, maybe I could have her point in a certain direction. So uh, I can have her wave and I can have her point. So let's go ahead and preview that. So I'm going to go ahead and tap on her. And then she still waves once, twice. She's going to wave again, probably. Uh, yes. And then she's going to point. There she goes. So that is a way that you can add animations to your character and tap on the character and have the character do certain things. Now, one thing that you can do is you can speed up or slow down if you want to here. And if you wanted her to do it again and again and again, you could hit infinite. So this is one way that you can go ahead and play with your characters.